Hi guys, you're tuned in to another episode of the Midnight Prayer Podcast. Follow us on all social media platforms at I Am Church London. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe on all major streaming platforms. May God bless you. Shalom everyone, welcome to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. May the Lord bless you all. Shalom to you all. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Welcome to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. This is I Am Church London and I'm your host, Brother Kevin. Thank you very much for joining us. For those of you joining us for the first time for prayer, may the Lord bless you. We welcome you all in the name of Jesus. Shalom to you all. Please invite your families and friends. Please invite someone to come and join us in the presence of the Lord. Please do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe on all the social media platforms, Midnight Prayer Podcast. And please follow us on all the major streaming platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. May the Lord bless you all. Shalom, shalom, shalom. So there is no message today. Today we're going to go straight into prayer based on the verses, the scriptures, the text that we read on Monday and Tuesday. And today we're just going to take time to focus on prayer on that particular subject that we covered on the last two episodes. May the Lord bless you all. Please invite someone to come and join us in the presence of the Lord. I'm going to do the opening prayer before we start. Father in heaven, creator of the heavens and the earth, we thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come into your presence. We thank you, Lord, for this day that you have made. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad within it. We thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit, which is with us. We thank you, almighty God, for your power, for your glory, which is with us in the name of Jesus. We pray for the blood of Jesus to cleanse us, to wash us, to sanctify us in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Heavenly Father, for your reign. We pray, Heavenly Father, for your dominion. We pray, Heavenly Father, for your protection, for your covering, to cover us in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says that those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. Your word says that the Holy Spirit is the one who will help us in our weaknesses. We pray in the name of Jesus that your Holy Spirit will lead us. We pray in the name of Jesus that your Holy Spirit will guide us and will navigate us through this prayer in the name of Jesus. We bind and we destroy every work of the enemy. Anything which may not confess your name, anything which may not give you glory through this prayer anything which may not confess your name in our homes or in our surroundings we render those works void and useless and we send it to the dry places in the name of jesus christ of nazareth where your word says no one will be able to stand against us as long as we live where your word says we will crush face lines and cobras we will trample face lines and serpents underneath our feet for your word also says that you have given to us authority over the serpent over the scorpion over every force and every power of the enemy me and nothing shall by any means hurt us we thank you almighty god for your power which is at work and we pray almighty god for your blood the blood of jesus christ to cover us to cover our homes to shield us in the name of jesus we thank you lord and we give you honor in jesus mighty name we pray amen shalom to you all welcome to the midnight prayer podcast so i want somebody who is tuned in right now with us today to begin to declare in the name of Jesus that I will not perish in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare that you will not perish in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare that you will not perish. You will not dwindle away. You will not waste away in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare it also over your family. Declare it over your home in the name of Jesus, that in your home, nobody will perish. In your home, nobody will dwindle away. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ, in your home, and nobody's destiny will perish. Declare in the name of Jesus, my destiny will not perish. My destiny will not be wasted. My destiny will not be burnt in the fire. My destiny will not be sacrificed. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, declare where you are. In the name of Jesus, declare where you are. In the name of Jesus, declare where you are. In the name of Jesus, declare that God has given me eternal life and I will never perish declare 
that nobody can take me, can snatch me away from God in the name of Jesus. Declare that God has given me eternal life and I will not perish. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ that nobody can snatch me away from God. Nobody can snatch my soul. Nobody can snatch my life. Nobody can snatch my destiny away from God in the name of Jesus. For the word of God says, I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one can snatch them away from me. Declare Declare in the name of Jesus that you will not perish. Declare in the name of Jesus you will not perish because you have repented of your sins and you have turned to God. Declare in the name of Jesus that you will not perish because you have repented from your sins and you have turned to God. In the name of Jesus, declare in the name of Jesus that you have a free gift from God which is eternal life in Christ Jesus. Declare that your home has a free gift from God which is eternal life in Christ Jesus. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ that your children have a free gift from God, which is eternal life in Christ Jesus. The word of God says, for this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Declare in the name of Jesus because I believe in Jesus Christ I will not perish and I have eternal life. Declare in the name of Jesus I will not perish I have eternal life. Declare in the name of Jesus in Christ I have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of my sins. Declare in the name of Jesus in Christ I have redemption through his blood and the forgiveness of my sins declare in the name of Jesus that he is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased my freedom with the blood of his son and he forgave my sins declare in the name of Jesus my sins have been forgiven declare in the name of Jesus that my sins have been forgiven declare in the name of Jesus that your sins have been forgiven declare in the name of Jesus that the sins of your parents of your grandparents of your ancestors declare in the name of Jesus that you will not pay the penalty for those sins Declare in the name of Jesus that you will not pay the penalty for those sins. Declare in the name of Jesus that you will not pay the penalty of those sins. Declare in the name of Jesus. The word of God says, because I belong to Christ, the power of the life-giving spirit has set me free from the power of sin that leads to death. Declare the power of sin that was at work in my ancestors will not lead me to death. Dearly beloved, I can theft, I can sin affect his children declare in the name of Jesus that you will not be affected declare in the name of Jesus that you will not be a victim declare in the name of Jesus that you will not pay the price for the sins of your ancestors you will not pay the price for the sins of your parents declare in the name of Jesus that you will not pay that price the life-giving spirit which is Jesus Christ has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death declare the power of sin will not lead me to death the power of sin in my father's house the power of sin in my mother's house will not lead me to death the power of sin that is in the form of the serpent the power of sin that is in the form of divinities will not lead you to death in the name of Jesus declare that the power of sin that is in the form of the crocodile that is in the form of sea monsters the power of sin that is in the form of serenes of mermaids the power of sin that is in the form of leviathan will not lead me to death in the name of Jesus because the word of God says he has given me authority over the serpent, over the scorpion, over every force, every power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us. Declare in the name of Jesus, the power of sin will not lead me to death. The power of sin from my mother's house will not lead me to perish. Declare in the name of Jesus, the power of sin from my mother's house will not waste my destiny. Declare in the name of Jesus, the power of sin of my father's house will not lead me to death. Declare in the name of Jesus that you have eternal life which is a gift from God you have eternal life which is a gift from God you have eternal life in Christ Jesus in Christ Jesus in Christ Jesus declare that I am freed I am freed I am freed from the power of sin I am freed from the power of sin my home is free from the power of sin my home is free from the power of sin in the name of Jesus declare dearly beloved the power of sin from the altar of my origin the power of sin from the altar of my origin the altar in the waters the altars of witchcraft declare in the name of Jesus that power of sin is broken that power of sin is broken the power of sin 
sin in my blood that I've inherited from my father, that I've inherited from my mother, that power of sin is broken, that power of sin is shattered, that power of sin is defeated in the name of Jesus because the word of God says and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. Declare I will not fall short from God's glorious standard. Declare I will not fall short from God's glorious standard. I will not fall short from God's blessings. I will not fall short from God's promises. I will not fall short from God's grace. I will not fall short from God's favor. I will not fall short. I will not fall short from God's protection. I will not fall short from God's divine covering. In the name of Jesus, declare that I will not fall short. I will not fall short. I will not fall short. In the name of Jesus, I will not be entangled in a yoke of slavery. I will not fall short. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will not fall short from God's glorious standard. I will not fall short from the word of God. I will not fall short from the word of God. I will not fall short from God's grace. I will not fall short from God's favor. I will not fall short in the name of Jesus. Declare that you will not fall short. Your family will not fall short. Your children will not fall short in the name of Jesus because the power of sin is broken. The power of sin is defeated. The power of sin is broken. The power of sin is defeated. Declare in the name of Jesus that you will not fall short. You will not fall short. You will not fall short in the name of Jesus. Declare that you will not fall short from God's glorious standard. You will not fall short from God's faithful promises. You will not fall short from God's faithful promises. You will not fall short from God's grace in the name of Jesus. 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 Declare in the name of Jesus Christ because I have confessed my sins. Because I have confessed my sins. I have been forgiven and I have been cleansed from all wickedness. Declare it in the name of Jesus Christ because you have confessed your sins. Your sins have been forgiven and you have been cleansed from all wickedness. Declare it in the name of Jesus Christ because you have confessed your sins. Your sins have been forgiven and you have been cleansed from all wickedness. Declare the power of sin is broken. Declare the power of sin is broken. The power of sin will not defeat you. The power of sin will not lead you to death. The power of sin will not stop your destiny. The power of sin will not stop your destiny. In the name of Jesus, declare it. Declare it. Declare it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ. The ties of bitterness is broken. The ties of rage is broken. The ties of anger is broken. The ties of harsh words. The ties of slander is broken. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ. The ties of lust. The ties of covetousness. The ties of sexual morality is broken. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ. The ties of jealousy. The ties of envy is broken. Those ties are broken. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Those ties will not dominate you. Those ties will not control you. Those ties will not manipulate you. Those ties will not dominate you. Those ties will not influence you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Declare that the ties of division is broken. The ties of dissension is broken. The ties of sorcery is broken. The ties of jealousy is broken. The ties of jealousy is broken. The ties, the ties, the ties, the ties, the ties, the ties, the ties of immorality, of impurity. It is broken. Declare that those ties are broken. The ties of outbursts of anger, selfish ambition is broken. Those ties are broken. Those ties are broken. Declare in the name of Jesus that those ties are broken. Those blood ties are broken. Those blood ties that I've inherited from my father, from my mother. It is broken. It is broken. It is broken. It is broken. In the name of Jesus, declare I am no longer under the influence of those blood ties. I am no longer under the influence of those blood ties. I am no longer under the influence of those blood ties. In the name of Jesus, declare that those ties are broken. Ties of jealousy. Ties of envy. Ties of covetousness. Ties of sorcery. Ties of sexual morality. Ties of impurity. Ties of impurity. Those ties are broken. Those ties are broken. Those ties are broken. In the name of Jesus, declare that you will not be under the influence. You will not be under control. You will not be under manipulation of those ties. In the name of Jesus, declare that those blood ties will not dominate you. Those blood ties will not control you. Those blood ties will not control you. Those blood ties will not influence you. Those blood ties will not keep you in captivity. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, declare that I have a new nature, which is to be like Christ. I have a new nature, which is to be like Christ. I have a new nature, which is to be like Christ.
Christ. I have a new nature, which is to be like Christ, truly righteous and holy. In the name of Jesus, declare that you have a new nature. You have a new nature, which is to be like Christ, truly righteous and holy. In the name of Jesus, 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 declare that I will produce new fruits. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ, my children, they will produce new fruits. My home, they will produce new fruits. In the name of Jesus, declare that they will produce new fruits. In the name of Jesus, declare that they will produce new fruits. In the name of Jesus, declare that they will produce new fruits. In the name of Jesus, declare it dearly beloved. Declare it dearly beloved. Declare it dearly beloved. The Holy Spirit inside of me will produce new fruits and these fruits will be seen and these fruits will be seen in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare that the Holy Spirit inside of me will produce new fruits in the name of Jesus and these fruits will be seen. I will benefit from these fruits in the name of Jesus and others around me will be blessed through these fruits in the name of Jesus. Declare that you have a new nature which is to be like Christ, truly righteous and holy. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ, my new nature is a nature of love. My new nature is a nature of joy, a nature of peace, a nature of patience, a nature of kindness. I have a new nature, a nature of goodness, a nature of faithfulness. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ, the sinful nature is gone. The sinful nature is gone. The power of sin is broken. The power of sin is broken. The sinful nature, it is gone. The sinful nature, it is gone. The sinful nature, it is gone. Daily beloved, declare in the name of Jesus Christ that that sinful nature, it is over and done with that sinful nature it is gone the sinful nature it is gone the sinful nature it is gone declare in the name of Jesus that sinful nature that old nature it is finished it is over declare it is done in the name of Jesus declare that that sinful nature it is done in the name of Jesus it is done in the name of Jesus the power of sin from my father's blood from my mother's blood it is broken declare in the name of Jesus declare in the name of Jesus the power of sin is broken declare my destiny will not be wasted my livestock will not be wasted the works of my hand will not be wasted the fruits of my labor will not be wasted in the name of Jesus my life will not be cut short in the name of Jesus my life will not be cut short in the name of Jesus declare 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 in the name of Jesus the word of God says those who belong to Christ have nailed the passions and desires of this sinful nature to his cross and crucified them there in the name of Jesus declare the sinful nature has been nailed to the cross it has been nailed to the cross the sinful nature the power of sin has been nailed to the cross in the name of Jesus it has been nailed to the cross it has been nailed to the cross it has been nailed to the cross it has been crucified in the name of Jesus the power of sin the power of sin the power of sin fighting against my destiny fighting against my blood in the form of the serpent in the form of Leviathan in the form of the crocodile in the form of the spirit of divinities the spirit of sea monsters the spirit of serenes the spirit of serenes the demons from the waters you have been crucified you have been nailed to the cross you are defeated in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the power of sin from the water has been nailed to the cross the power of sin from the water has been crucified on the cross in the name of Jesus it is defeated in the name of Jesus it is defeated in the name of Jesus it is defeated in the name of Jesus declare that you belong to Christ declare that you live by the spirit declare in the name of Jesus that you belong to Christ declare that you live by the spirit in the name of Jesus declare that you belong to Christ declare that you live by the spirit in the name of Jesus declare that you belong to Christ declare that you live by the spirit you do not live by the flesh you live by the spirit you do not live by the flesh declare that you live by the spirit you do not live by the flesh declare every blood tie from my father's house, from my mother's house, that is communing my soul, that is subjecting my soul, that is attaching my soul to idolatry, to sorcery, to impurity, to sexual morality, to lustful pleasures, to hostility, to quarreling, to jealousy, to outbursts of anger, selfish ambition, those blood ties are broken in the name of Jesus. Declare, I will not be dominated by those blood ties. I will not perish by those blood ties. I am free from those blood ties. 
ties. I am saved from those blood ties. I have been redeemed from those blood ties. I have been separated from those blood ties. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, declare I am detached from those blood ties. In the name of Jesus, declare that you are detached from those blood ties. In the name of Jesus, declare that I have victory over those blood ties. 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 In the name of Jesus, I have victory over those blood ties. I have victory over those blood ties. I have victory over those blood ties. In the name of Jesus, I have victory over those blood ties. 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 In the name of Jesus, dearly beloved, begin to thank the Lord. Begin to exalt his name. Begin to glorify his name. Begin to magnify his name. Begin to lift him up. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we glorify you. Father, we magnify you. Father, we lift your name on high. In the name of Jesus, because you are the most high God, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, the first and the last. In the name of Jesus, blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your righteous name. Blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be your victorious name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your word says, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad within it. We thank you, Father, for your word says, may every living thing that breathes praise the Lord. We thank you for the breath of life you have given to us. We thank you for the good health you have given to us. We thank you for the roofs you have put over our heads, the food you have put on our tables. We thank you in the name of Jesus for your word which has been manifest in our lives in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, where you are, begin to plead for God's mercy to come into your life. Begin to plead for God's compassion to come into your life. Begin to plead for his unfailing love, for his grace to come down into your life in the name of Jesus. The word of God says all have sinned have fallen short of his glorious standard. Father in heaven, forgive us for our wrongdoings. Forgive us, Lord, for the sinful nature. Forgive us, Lord, for the worldly desires, the lust of the flesh, everything that we've done which made us come out of your presence, everything that we've done which made us fall short of your glory, everything that we've done which made us come out of your will. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, have mercy upon us, your children, in the name of Jesus Christ. Have mercy upon our families, our homes, in the name of Jesus. Forgive us for our sins, our iniquities, our transgressions, in the name of Jesus. For your word says that those who hide their transgressions, they will not prosper, but those who turn away from them and abandon them, they shall find mercy before your sight, in the name of Jesus. Forgive us, Lord, for our wrongdoings. Forgive us, Lord, for our iniquities. Forgive us, Lord, for our transgressions, in the mighty name of Jesus. Your word says if we confess our sins, you are faithful, you are just Father, to forgive us for our sins and to cleanse us from our wickedness. Father in heaven, creator of the heavens and earth, forgive us for our wrongdoings. Forgive us for our iniquities. Forgive us for our transgressions. In the name of Jesus, dearly beloved, begin to plead for the blood of Jesus. For the word of God says, without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. For the word of God says, we were washed, we were sanctified, we were justified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and the spirit of our God. For the word of God says, in the name of Jesus Christ, we have been made right in God's sight through the blood of Christ and we have been saved from his condemnation. Plead for the blood of Jesus to wash you. Plead for the blood of Jesus to cleanse you. Plead for the blood of Jesus to sanctify you in the name of Jesus Christ. For the word of God says we were washed, we were sanctified and we were justified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and the spirit of our God. Dearly beloved, plead for the blood of Jesus. Plead for the blood which was shed on the cross, the blood which was shed on the Mount of Calvary, the sinless spotless Lamb of God to come into your life in the name of Jesus, the sinless spotless Lamb of God to to come into your life in the name of Jesus, the sinless, spotless Lamb of God, to purify you, to cleanse you, to sanctify you, to wash you in the name of Jesus. Plead for the blood of Jesus. The word of God says he is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and he forgave our sins. Dearly beloved, plead for the blood of Jesus. Plead for the blood of the Lamb. Plead for the blood that you shed on the cross in the name of Jesus. The word of God says this is my blood which confirms the covenant between God and his people. It is poured out for the forgiveness of sins of many. Plead for the blood of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, dearly beloved, begin to invite the Holy Spirit. The word of God says, if you love me, obey my commandments and I'll ask the Father to send to you another advocate who will never leave you. That is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. Dearly beloved, invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of Jesus Christ, the spirit of Jesus Christ, the spirit of freedom, the spirit of favor, the spirit of grace, the spirit of blessings to come into your life in the name of Jesus. Invite the Holy Spirit, invite the Holy Spirit, invite the Holy Spirit, invite the Holy Spirit, invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Invite
invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, invite the Holy Spirit. Invite the Holy Spirit. Invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. The Word of God says we will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon us and we will be His witnesses, telling people about Him everywhere from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria to the ends of the earth. The Word of God says I will send the Holy Spirit just the Father promised but stay here in the city until the Holy Spirit comes and fills you up with power from heaven Holy Spirit fill us with your power from heaven Holy Spirit fill us with your power from heaven 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 in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit fill us with your power from heaven fill us with your domination fill us with your anointing fill us with your authority fill us with your strength fill us with your wisdom fill us with your understanding your victory from heaven fill us Holy Spirit with your fruits from heaven heaven fill us holy spirit fill us holy spirit with your grace for your favor from heaven fill us with your blessings from heaven in the name of jesus holy spirit fill us holy spirit fill us with your word fill us with your fire from heaven in the name of jesus holy spirit fill us with your thunder from heaven in the name of jesus holy spirit fill us holy spirit fill us holy spirit fill us in the name of jesus holy spirit fill us in the name of jesus holy spirit fill us in the name of jesus dearly beloved pray in the name of jesus christ every calendar in the kingdom of darkness working against your destiny every calendar every plan every project every scheme taking place in the kingdom of darkness against you against your family against your home against your destinies pray in the name of jesus thus says the lord god it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass in the name of jesus pray dearly beloved every evil surprise being planned against me in the kingdom of darkness every trap every net every pit programmed against me dug against me dug against my children dug against my home in the kingdom of darkness declare in the name of jesus christ my enemies shall feed on their own flesh my enemies shall be drunk with rivers of their own blood in the name of jesus cancel those plans in the name of jesus cancel those plans in the name of jesus cancel those plans in the name of jesus declare that sudden death will not enter my home death by surprise will not enter my home death Death by car accidents, death by poison, death by sickness will not enter my home. Death by fatalities, casualties, murders, robberies will not enter my home. Death will not enter my home. In the name of Jesus, declare that Christ is defeated, the greatest power of the enemy, which is death. In the name of Jesus, declare that death will not enter my home. Declare that death will not enter my home. Death will not come my way. In the name of Jesus Christ, death will not enter my home. Death will not come my way. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ pray dearly beloved every scheme every plan every project every mission which is in motion which is taking place right now in real time in the kingdom of darkness against you all those who have gathered against you all those who have disguised themselves all those who are working against you who are working together against you in the kingdom of darkness pray in the name of Jesus the word of God says he will cause all our enemies who rise against us to be defeated before us they shall come against us one way and flee away from us in seven ways in the name of Jesus the word of God says for see today I have made you strong like a fortified city that cannot be captured like an iron pillar or bronze wall you will stand against the whole land the king's officials priests people of Judah they will fight you but they will fail in the name of Jesus the word of God says that he will make the Egyptians lose heart and you will confuse their plans declare in the name of Jesus that their plans are confused in the name of Jesus declare that their plans are confused in the name of Jesus, send confusion on their way, send confusion, send errors along their way. In the name of Jesus, the word of God is the path of the wicked leads to destruction. Pray in the name of Jesus, all those who have gathered against me, all those who are conspiring against me, all those who are plotting, who are planning, who are scheming against me. Pray in the name of Jesus, may their plans destroy them, may their schemes destroy them, may their own conspiracies destroy them. In the name of Jesus, may their missions destroy them. Them. in the name of Jesus may their weapons destroy them in the name of Jesus may their own pits may their own traps that they have dug up destroy them in the name of Jesus for the word of God says in that coming day no weapon formed against me shall prosper declare in the name of Jesus all those who are conspiring all those who are scheming who those who are plotting all those who are planning against you in the river in the forest in the cemeteries in the mountains in the deserts in the forest pray in the name of Jesus may their plans, may their schemes, may their 
projects, may their conspiracies destroy them in the name of Jesus. The word of God says Babylon's homes have been set ablaze and the bars of her gates are broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus, sir. Every authority, every ruler, every strong man, every strong woman holding my destiny, holding my destiny, holding my destiny in my father's house, in my mother's house, in the house that I grew up in, in the fourth house. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ for those strong men, those strong women, those authorities and rulers to receive thunder, send 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 thunder to strike them down in the name of Jesus who is holding your destiny, who is holding your livestock, who is holding the fruits of your labor, who is holding your life in their hands. Pray in the name of Jesus. Every parental authority from my paternal home, from my maternal home who is sitting on my destiny, who has buried my destiny in their tent. Command them to receive thunder. 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 In the name of Jesus, dearly beloved, pray. Every authority, every ruler, every strong man, every strong woman who has buried, who is holding my destiny captive, who is holding my livestock, the fruits of my labor, the work of my hands in captivity, who is using the power of the spirit of the serpent, who is using the powers from the waters who is using the spirit of leviathan the spirit of crocodiles the spirits of serenes the spirits of sea monsters who is using the spirits of the divinities of the waters to dominate me to deprive me of my belongings of my belongings of my blessings i declare in the name of jesus christ may that spirit receive the sword in the name of jesus may that spirit receive the sword in the name of jesus may that spirit receive the sword in the name of jesus daily beloved send thunder daily beloved send the sword to strike down that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit animal that they are using every spirit animal the parental authorities every spirit animal the strong men the strong women of your origin are using to deprive you of your blessings to deprive you of your possessions to rob you to steal from you pray in the name of Jesus Christ command them to receive the sword strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus the spirit of Leviathan strike it down with the sword in the name of Jesus the spirit of the sea monsters strike them down in the name of Jesus. The spirit of serenes strike them down with the sword in the name of Jesus. The word of God says we will crush face lions and cobras. We will trample face lions and serpents underneath our feet in the name of Jesus. The word of God says his spirit made the heavens beautiful and his power pierced the gliding serpent. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power in the sea that is holding my livestock, the work of my hands, the fruits of my labor, my blessings, my destiny in captivity. I command that power in the sea to receive the sword in the name of Jesus. The word of God says he dried up the rivers right before our eyes and he kept it dry. The word of God says at his command the oceans dried up, the rivers disappeared. Daily beloved, strike that serpent down with the sword in the name of Jesus. Strike those divinities down with the sword in the name of Jesus. The spirit of the sea monsters command them to be struck down by the sword in the name of Jesus. For the word of God says he will bring against them a foreign army the terror of the nations. He will draw their swords he will draw his sword against their marvelous wisdom he will draw his sword against their marvelous wisdom and he will defile their splendor he will bring them down to the pit and they will die in the heart of the sea pierced with many wounds daily beloved kill the dragon of the sea in the name of jesus christ command that dragon in the sea command that sea monster the spirit of leviathan the spirit of the crocodile the spirit of serenes that the parental authorities are using that they are being supported by to receive the sword in the name of jesus Jesus, strike them with the sword in the name of Jesus. Strike them with the sword in the name of Jesus. Pray, dearly beloved, who uses strength, who uses strength from animals against you from the kingdom of darkness, who uses strength from animals against you in the kingdom of darkness, who uses strength from animals to dominate you in your dreams, who uses strength from the serpent, who uses strength from lions and leopards, who uses strength from the crocodiles to overpower you, to dominate you, to attack you. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Command that spirit of the crocodile, the spirit of the serpent that is standing against your destiny to receive the sword. Strike them down with the sword in the name of Jesus. Strike them down with the sword in the name of Jesus. Strike them down with the sword in the name of Jesus. Strike them down with the sword. Strike them down with the sword. Strike them down with the sword in the name of Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, strike them down with the sword in the name of Jesus. No one will be able to stand against you as long as you live for 
the Lord shall be with you as he was with Moses. He will not fail you, nor he abandon you. In the name of Jesus, pray dearly beloved, every hiding place that the serpent, that the crocodile, that the sea monsters, that the serenes are using to dominate you. Every hiding place, every resting place that they run to for refuge. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ, command those hiding places to receive thunder, to receive thunder, to receive thunder, to receive thunder. In the name of Jesus, command the hiding place of Leviathan, the hiding place of the serpent, the hiding place of the crocodile, the hiding place of the spirits of the divinities, the spirits of the sea monsters, to receive thunder, to receive thunder, to receive thunder. Command their hiding places to receive thunder. In the name of Jesus, to receive thunder. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of Leviathan, every spirit of the crocodile, every spirit of the serpent, every spirit of sea monsters, every spirit of the divinities of the waters, standing against my destiny, standing against my life, standing against my destiny. I command your hiding places to be crushed down. I command your hiding places to receive thunder in the name of Jesus. Command those hiding places to receive thunder in the name of Jesus. The word of God says he will restore the ruins and when I speak to the river and say dry up, they will be dry in the name of Jesus. Command those hiding places to receive thunder in the name of Jesus. The word of God says I will break down your wall right to its foundation foundations send thunder in the name of Jesus send thunder in the name of Jesus to break down the wall of the serpent right down to its foundations send thunder in the name of Jesus to break down the wall of the spirit of Leviathan the wall of the spirit of the crocodile the wall of the spirit of the sea monsters right down to its foundations send thunder send thunder send thunder send thunder to break down that wall right down to its foundations to break down that wall right down to its foundations to break down that wall right down to its foundations in the name of Jesus, the word of course is the Lord will judge the world by fire and the sword. In the name of Jesus, pray dearly beloved, the ward, the wall, the wall of the spirits of the sea monsters, the divinities of the waters, the wall of the spirits of Leviathan, of the spirits of the crocodile, the spirits of the serpent, their walls, their walls that are protecting them. Pray in the name of Jesus, command those walls to receive thunder and to be broken down right down to its foundations. In the name of Jesus, command those walls to to receive thunder and to be broken down right down to its foundations in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the word of God says you have broken down the walls protecting him and ruined every fort defending him in the name of Jesus declare that their protective walls are broken their defending forts is broken in the name of Jesus Christ their protective walls are broken their protective walls are broken in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God says the high walls of Moab will be demolished they will be brought down to the ground down to the dust in the name of Jesus declare the spirit of the sea monsters the spirits of Leviathan the spirits of the serpent the spirits of the crocodile standing against my destiny in my father's house in my mother's house in the third house in the fourth house I declare in the name of Jesus your protective walls are broken your protective walls are broken right down to its foundations in the name of Jesus 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 break down their protective walls in the name of Jesus Christ break down their walls right down to its foundation in the name of Jesus break those walls down send thunder in the name of Jesus 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 declare when I speak to the river and say dry up they will be dry declare in the name of Jesus that the Lord caused their springs and streams to gush forth and he dried up the rivers that never run dry declare in the name of Jesus every water that is protecting them every water that is surrounding them I command that water to dry up in the name of Jesus. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Dry up in the name of Jesus. I pronounce judgment over those waters. I pronounce judgment over those waters. I pronounce judgment over those waters. I pronounce judgment over those waters in the name of Jesus Christ. Every water, every water that the spirit of the serpent, that the spirit of Leviathan, the spirit of the crocodile, the spirit of lions, the spirit of the sea monsters, the spirit of the divinities of the waters are hiding. I pray in the name of Jesus. May God judgment may God's judgment may God's judgment be pronounced against that water in the name of Jesus may God's judgment be pronounced against that water in the name of Jesus I command that water to dry up in the name of Jesus 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 pray dearly beloved pray dearly beloved command that water to dry up in the name of Jesus command that water to dry up in the name of Jesus the word of God says I will steady you in my hand and by my powerful arm I'll make you grow strong I will not allow any of your enemies to defeat you, nor will I 
allow the wicked to overpower you. I will beat down your adversaries before you. I will destroy those who hate you. In the name of Jesus, command their water to dry up in the name of Jesus. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Dry up in the name of Jesus. And pray, dearly beloved, every throne that is planted, established in the sea, I command that throne to be shattered by thunder. I command that throne to be shattered by thunder. I command that throne to be shattered by thunder. I command that throne to be shattered by thunder. Throne of the sea, throne of the river, throne of the lake, throne of the ponds, throne of the rivers of witchcraft. I command you to be shattered by thunder, be shattered by thunder. And I announce and I pronounce God's judgment against you in the name of Jesus. I pronounce God's judgment against you in the name of Jesus. God's judgment to fall down upon you in the name of Jesus. God's judgment to fall down upon you in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, pronounce God's judgment against them in the name of Jesus. Pronounce God's judgment against them in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, command their thrones to be shattered, to be shattered, to be shattered, to be shattered, to be shattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Command their thrones to be shattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Command their thrones to be shattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Command their thrones to be shattered in the name of Jesus. Every throne in the sea, every throne in a river, every throne in a pond, every throne in a lake, every throne in an ocean fighting against my destiny. The word of God says in the name of Jesus, you will destroy their king, you will slaughter their princes. The word of God says, calm down, virgin daughter of Babylon, sit in the dust for your days of sitting on a throne have ended. O daughter of Babylonia, never again will you be the lovely princess, tender and delicate, daily beloved, shatter their thrones, remove them from their thrones in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in this way, he disarmed the spiritual rulers and authorities. He shamed them publicly by his victory over them on a cross. Shatter their thrones in the name of Jesus. Shatter their thrones in the name of Jesus. Remove their crowns from their heads. Remove their royal robes from their heads. Remove them from their thrones in the name of Jesus. Remove them from their thrones in the name of Jesus. And declare, may God's judgment fall on them. 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 In the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, begin to pray. Every spirit of death that is looking for you. Every spirit of death that is searching for you. Every spirit of death hunting you down. Spirit of sickness hunting you down. Spirit of poverty hunting you down or holding you in captivity. Pray in the name of Jesus for that spirit to be struck down by thunder in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in the name of Jesus, he cast out the evil spirits with a simple command and he healed the sick. The word of God says, Jesus said to him, come out of this man, you impure spirit. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of death hunting you down. Every spirit of poverty, every spirit of sickness hunting you down. Every spirit of covetousness hunting you down or holding you in captivity. Pray in the name of Jesus. The power of sin has been broken in the name of Jesus. The power of sin has been broken in the name of Jesus. Declare that I am free in the name of Jesus. Declare that I am free in the name of Jesus. The word of course is he called the 12 disciples together and he gave them authority to cast out evil spirits and to heal every kind of disease. Declare in the name of Jesus. Spirit of death, I cast you back to the sender. Spirit of sickness, I cast you back to the sender. Spirit of covetousness, spirit Spirit of poverty, I cast you back to the sender in the name of Jesus. You are defeated. 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 And your mission is over in the name of Jesus. Daily beloved, begin to pray for God's divine protection to cover you. Begin to pray for God's divine covering to cover you. Begin to pray for the blood of Jesus to shield you. For the blood of Jesus to shield your family, to shield your home. Begin to pray for the blood of Jesus to cover your home in the name of Jesus. Every counter attack, every Every pursuit from the kingdom of darkness. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ for the power of the blood of Jesus Christ to stop that pursuit. Pray for the power of the blood of Jesus Christ to stop that counter attack and return it back to its sender in the name of Jesus. Pray dearly beloved, every pursuit, every evil monitoring in the dreams, physically, spiritually. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ for the blood of Jesus to break off that connection in the name of Jesus. Thank the Lord. Exalt him. Give him honor. Give him glory praise him worship him i'm going to do the closing prayer heavenly father creator of the heavens and earth we thank you we exalt and we glorify you and we magnify you we lift you up in the name of jesus we thank you almighty god because you answered our prayer and you gave us a victory father in the name of jesus we seal this prayer with the blood of jesus christ and we pray heavenly father every power of sin that is coming from the throne every power of sin that is coming from the altars every power of sin that is coming from the sea monsters the serpent the divinities we pray in the name of jesus may that power of sin be 
broken down and be shattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, as a result, all the pagan altars will be crushed to dust. No Asherah pole or pagan shrine will be left standing. Your word says, this is what you must do. You must break down their pagan altars, shatter their sacred pillars, cut down their Asherah poles and burn their idols. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the powers of the idols, which was causing us to covet, which is causing us almighty God to steal. It is broken in the name of Jesus. The power of sin that was coming from altars it is broken in the name of Jesus. We declare that we are free. We declare that we are free. We declare that our sins are forgiven. We declare that our sins are forgiven. We declare that we are cleansed. We declare that we are justified. We declare that we have redemption in the blood of Christ. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done. We praise your name and we exalt your name. We give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Shalom to you all. Thank you very much for those of you who joined us in the prayer. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless your families. May the Lord bless your homes. May you see the fruits of this prayer that you have just done. May this prayer accomplish great things. May this prayer reach everywhere and prosper everywhere that you have sent it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you to those of you who invited your families and friends, those of you who are sharing, liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank you. May the Lord bless you for your support. May the Lord remember you for all your efforts that you are doing for the podcast in the name of Jesus. For those of you who are able to continue praying, please kindly do so. If you cannot, I will see you guys tomorrow for another episode of the Midnight Prayer Podcast. May the Lord bless you.